Hey, this is Shannon at No Shelf Control. Thanks for joining me on the channel. I have a little surprise for you today. I know that in the past we have done a couple of independent bookstores. Well, I have another one for you. Um, in the small town of Tiffin, Ohio, I discovered a small bookstore called Panyan Books uh, last weekend, and I wanted to tell you all about it. So I will tell you more about Tiffin and about the bookstore itself as we go through the video, but I wanted to give you a little introduction. It was perhaps the windiest day of the year last week, so you will see wind blowing, you will hear it, my hair is flying everywhere um, as I'm standing outside the bookstore and there's a lot of street traffic. Um, but it was a chilly, brisk, windy day. Um, but I will go ahead with the video and show you all about Panyan Books. I am in the small town of Tiffin today and am going to show you Panyan Books. Uh, Tiffin is about an hour and a half north of Columbus where I live and I heard that they had a cute little independent bookstore and I thought I would take you on a little tour. So I thought I'd give you a little look at the small town of Tiffin where Panyan Books is located. So this is the uh, thoroughfare that we are on in Tiffin. That is the corner of Washington and Madison. Uh, we are here for my son to participate in a saxophone master class at Heidelberg College, but I heard there was a delightful little bookstore and wanted to check it out. happen to be here on the day they are doing the Tiffin Chocolate Walk and the Panyan Bookstore is involved so they have their chocolate walk sign out but you can see uh, the inside of the store and that it is a small store in a small town. This is from the entrance of the store. You can see on the left hand side are all used books and then on the right hand side you have all of the new books. It is a long, thin store, um, but plenty of options for a small store. First thing I spotted when I walked in is this really gorgeous collection of classics. So I had to show those to you. We've got everything from Moby Dick to Tess of the Durbervilles to Little very Women. small store for a very small town. But you can see they have a section of romance books and then some books that are highlighted as being something that Penelope recommends. I don't know Penelope, but I'll take her recommendations. Judy is the owner, and so these are some books that she recommends. Um, I read a little bit about her online. She apparently uh, did some studying here in town and met her current boyfriend and then decided um, after she was on her way to getting her PhD to uh, open this bookstore in town. And the reason that it is called Panyan is because the first business in Tiffin was the Panyan Tavern. And so this bookstore, sort of um, in homage to that first business in Tiffin, has that name as well. We have a couple of monthly book clubs, and these are the selections for March. So we have The Nightingale and Middlesex by Jeffrey Eugenides. I think you've heard me talk about Jeffrey Eugenides on the channel before. I love everything he's written. And then there's some Jojo Moyes. We also have Mame that I talked about on the channel a couple of times and an Ian McEwan book called Lessons. I know that um, I've recently been on a graphic novel kick since I never read them, and I understand that Mouse has been banned in quite a few places, so I'm excited to see it here, and I think that will be what I take home from Panyan today. They have a pretty healthy collection of um, graphic novels for a small store, um, so I thought I would show those to Our friend Harry in uh, their biography and memoir autobiography section. I love when bookstores do this. They have the mystery paperbacks. Um, they actually have sets here. A number of Hallmark-esque romance novels and then four mystery books in another one of the bags. Um, and you sort of take your chances based on the description written on the outside of the book. I love vinyl stickers. I have them all over my luggage and all over my computer. And I think a couple of these are really funny. Book lovers never go to bed alone. I like to touch my shelf. That could have been a better name for the channel. 
and then uh, I'm silently correcting your grammar. Love that. It's a book too. I haven't seen before. Does it fart? The definitive guide to animal flatulence. Not every bookstore has this one. Um, I, I'm curious and may have to check it out. Some books dedicated to the town of Tiffin and its history. As I mentioned, it's a small town, but Tiffin University and Heidelberg are both here. Here's a section of children's books. Got a couple of our favorites. The Pigeon, of course, by Mo Wellams. Make Way for Ducklings. And the beautiful Oops down here with Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. Of used children's books, which would have been my absolute favorite when I was younger. If I could have gotten my mom to bring me in and pick out something from the used bookshelf, I would have been thrilled second only to the library, I'm sure. The really healthy section of used books, which are always fun. Um, you can see some of the collections they have available here for teens and YA. They are some of my old favorites, I have to admit. And then some of the newer YA <laughs> books. Here's some of their adult used fiction. You can see they have things like Carnegie's Maid and All the Light We Cannot See, a few John Grisham books. I really love this sign. It says, should you buy a book today? Did you already buy one? Yes. One more won't hurt. No, you should buy a book today. And this is really how I operate in my life. So I thought this sign was just perfect. So that was Pan Yan Bookstore. I think it is a little gem in the heart of a little town. Um, and if you ever find yourself in Tiffin, Ohio, you should definitely check it out. Um, another good reason to know about Pan Yan Books, if you shop at bookshop.org, you can designate a specific independent bookstore as the one that gets um, some of the proceeds from the books you buy. And Pan Yan Books would be a great choice. They're a small bookstore um, in a small little town, and I think they could absolutely use your help. So um, if you'd like, when you shop at bookshop.org, um, make sure that you designate Pan Yan Books. Thanks so much for stopping by and checking out Pan Yan Books today and another one of my videos. I love showing you all things books and had a great time with this one today. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click like and subscribe. I also do have a wish list from bookshop.org at the bottom of each of my videos. If you'd like to gift me with a book, um, give me the oppor opportunity to read it and give a review on the channel. Um, and give you a shout out, I would love to do that. So I can't wait to see you back here next time. I have book reviews, book lists for the month of April. I have all kinds of stuff that I can't wait to do. So come back and I will see you soon. Thanks.